So we just landed in Doha and we're here for a very, very long layover. Yeah. So when we first booked this flight, we were supposed to have 12 hours within Qatar airport. Um, due to unforeseen circumstances, delayed, but now we should have about eight. So we're gonna see what we can get up to in the airport or in Qatar. I don't know yet. What a nice lady this was. So when you're in Qatar at the airport, for more than eight, eight hours or more, you're able to do uh, basically a guided tour yeah. of Doha. So we're gonna try to do that if we can find our way to immigration. So that lady was helping us from the uh, Qatar uh, customer service desk and basically she's just telling us that we need to go to immigration. So basically if you wanna do this tour, you don't have to go through security, just um, carry on along the hallway and just uh, add to like baggage claim. Well, you know, yeah. Because after bag claim is immigration. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're going to go there. Uh, depending on the restrictions of the country, she's saying that we should be fine. Uh, but, but we'll Ultimately see. Ultimately, it's there. So we hope. But... Yeah. So I just spent about 20 minutes trying to fill out some sort of form online to be able to like go through immigration. I really miss the good old days of traveling. Okay, so we made it through immigration. That was uh, quite a process, but uh, done. Now we just need to find the desk where they do the tour from and really hope for the best because I'm going to be so mad if we went through all of that for no reason. Okay, thank you so much. It's a go for a tour, so we have a, a AC bus, we have a tour guide, we're gonna do a few stops and all that for $26 US. a person, US, and for about three hours. I think that's pretty great. I'm excited. Better than spending eight hours in Definitely the Definitely more countries should offer that kind of things because yeah. maybe we're gonna fall in love with Doha, with Qatar, and then book a full on week or two trip here. I you know. never know. I think every country should entice people to come yes. by doing that. Oh, it is hot. Oh yeah, you can see that. It's foggy here. <laughs> This stadium is called 974 because they took 974 different shipping container to build the stadium. It's very, very interesting. A national museum? Another museum. So the blurry building behind me is one of their governmental buildings. We're not allowed to film those, so this is as much as you're gonna see. <laughs> so they even have a countdown to the World Cup. Oh, <laughs> it's very echoey. So there's 69 days, 5 hours, 35 minutes, and 25 seconds. But who's counting? The heat in this bubble, <laughs> it is unreal. It's a sauna, it's probably like over 60 degrees in there. It's a, just a plastic dome oh. of heat. So just like we're used to in Kenya, dows here are also very, very popular. This is what they were using back in the days for diving and for fishing. But the dows here are much, much bigger than what we're used to. So Qatar is a very, very unique country, very small country. There's only a 116 kilometer from north to south. So if you rent a car here, you can probably do the entire country in just one day. And it is also in the middle of the desert right now. It is well over 40 degrees. The sun is shining on us. We're probably gonna get sunburned, but it's worth every second of it. All the flags behind me represent all the countries that are gonna make it to the World Cup 2022 with the FIFA. If you're wondering why a few flags are a half mass, it's because uh, th those are Commonwealth countries because of the passing of the Queen. Oh, back in the AC. Oh, much better. <laughs> I'm sweating. My, my shirt is drenched already, my but I'm loving it. So hot. Stop number two. So the second stop is Qatar Cultural Village. There's a lot of things to do here. There's museum, there's a planetarium, there's a bunch of more traditional shops, there's some traditional food, and there is this beautiful blue musk right behind me. It's actually called the blue musk. Theater. 
during the daytime at this time of the year it can go up to 50 degrees celsius so as you can see around except apart from our little group there there is nobody but these places after when the sun goes down they're buzzing Right now you guys can really see how hot it is. This is not water. It didn't rain or anything like that. It probably doesn't rain much in Qatar. This is sweat. Even though it's a million degrees pretty much year round. As you can see around me, a lot of greeneries, a lot of beautiful green grass. Just imagine how much maintenance, how much care, attention and water it takes to keep this hill, which is fake by the way, because we're in a desert, it's completely fat. This is a man-made hill. But to keep that hill green, Wow, that looks like a lot of work. It's so hot, they have outside AC. Like, I'm standing on an AC vent. How oh, cool! As I'm telling you, these vents, even though we're outside, it feels like heaven. But you have to be quite close to them, though. <laughs> So we just entered into a food hall, apparently it was inaugurated three weeks ago. This is the fanciest grocery store I've ever seen in my life. And you can tell, look how many different kinds of water they have. I can't resist a good chocolate. We have to go quick because they're going to melt so fast. Let me be the judge of that. 9 out of 10. While our guide is talking, everyone is standing on different AC vents outside. Architecture is just so, so nice. A lot of European, mainly Italian and French uh, inspiration, if I may say. And all those buildings here, like they're brand new. Most of Qatar is brand new because when you think about it, 40 years ago, it was a complete desert. So right now it is mid-September. Since January 2022, it only rained three days. Twice in January, once in July, and everyone is saying that the one time that it rained in July, it wasn't supposed to happen. It was kind of a miracle. So we're all... We met some fellow Canadians. And then the AC in the bus. <laughs> no, it feels good. I'm so wet though. It's just The last stop of this tour is here at the Souk where, again, nobody. This here to my left is a Falcon store and believe it or not, the Falcon is a national symbol and you can buy a Falcon here in Qatar for up to 500,000 US dollars. So it's very, very... Hello! Hello! <laughs> On Qatar Airways, fun fact, you can bring your Falcon but you need to buy your Falcon a seat. When we talk falcon here in Qatar, it is no joke. This is not a veterinarian, no, no. It is a falcon only hospital. Here's another fun fact coming at you. There's only 2.9 million people living here in Qatar and only 12 to 13% are actually Qataris. All the rest are people coming from all around the world. So right now we are into the souk. Most shops are closed because right now it is 3.30. It's the middle of the day. It's the period of the day that they call siesta. So mainly because it's hot, but also because they go out for lunch and things like that. So shops are open in the morning and in the after late afternoon and evening.
So we got two shot glasses and a mug, because as you know, David likes getting shot glasses. I like collecting mugs. That's kind of our souvenir whenever we go to a new country. So now we'll be able to remember Qatar forever. I really, really wanted to try some street food. So I found a little restaurant. I told them I have no time. I only have 10 left. Everything seems to be 15. I showed them. They're like, it's fine, it's fine. So like they're making me something really, really, really quick because everyone is waiting for me. How is it called? What is the name? It's uh, Matibos Maraguda. Ah, ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. Have a good day. Uh, thank you. When they realized you were there, they added some rice. Oh. The hotel behind me is the Bismillah Hotel, which means in the name of God Hotel. It was built in 1958 and it was the first ever hotel in Qatar. There's only two hotel rooms and it's still running today. So that transaction happened really, really quickly. I have no clue what it is. It looks like chicken, rice. It smells very good with some sort of sauce. So we'll have a try. Yeah. Gonna try some rice with some sauce first. Mm. That's really good. When you visit a country, you gotta at least visit the market, do a little city tour, and of course, eat something. So, this is a complete tour now. This was the royal terminal, just for the royal family, and it's massive. I bet they don't wait to check in. Just like that, we are back to the airport. Quieti. Quieti, bye. <laughs> the drivers from Kenya. Thank you so bye. much. As we came in into the airport, somebody came to me and was like, Drew Binsky. I was like, I like the guy, but no, maybe one day. I mean, beard, similar, same kind of height, different hair color. Okay, a little review of the tour. I highly recommend it. Don't get me wrong, you can't see a, a full country or city no. in three hours but, but if you have extra time it's so worth it for the amount that you got on three hours i'm very impressed yeah and like 26 dollars us totally worth it a little Perfect. bit of food a souvenir and everything i really like it now we are back at the airport we're looking for a lounge because a shower we're sounds amazing we're so sweat. sweaty also i guess i just don't understand art but there's a big yellow teddy bear in the middle of the airport cool. To the lounge. Those escalators are very slow. Okay, he's probably never gonna see this, but there's an American guy here who's just the best human being mm -hmm. ever. So to get access to the lounge, you need a priority pass or uh, other card, type of or other types of credit card. We both have it. Yeah. Tracy, Tracy's card is expired and it's actually in the mail right now, so it didn't work. And for some obscure reason, my credit card didn't let. Uh, us have access to this specific lounge even though we use it all the time so the guy behind us in line was like just invited us and used two of his passes to get us to in. Guess a, get us in so a big thank you very very I, nice I have no words <laughs> thank you thank now you now I'm gonna go get a shower because I stink <laughs> Maybe that's why I did it. No. <laughs> so one of the best things about these lounges is obviously the free food. You even have like free wine and free whatever you want basically um, for the time that you're here. Normally they're kind of limited at like four hours after that they kick you out. And, and they have showers and we sweat it so much that it's gonna feel like a million bucks. A little foggy there. That was an amazing shower. Forgot my deal, so I'm using Tracy now. I'm gonna smell like a cucumber and green tea. Not very, uh, not very manly. Is it gross that we share this? I think it is. So back to the main lounge. It's a pretty big lounge. It's pretty busy right now. A lot of people have access to this one. It's not a very exclusive one, but you know what? There's some food and everything. Looks pretty good. Smells good. Let's go see what's for supper. Supper. Tuna and corn sandwich. Very good. Oriental chicken rock. 
better than a hummus and chickpea salad. Delicious. This is honestly one of the top chocolate mousses I've ever had. It's so thick. Mm. There's even an area to sleep right there. Time to go catch our flight. If you like shopping, this airport is for you, especially if you have a lot of money because there's a lot of like very, very fancy and expensive brand. Otherwise, um, the lounge, pretty good, nothing special. Like I said earlier, like not very exclusive or anything, very easy to have access. A lot of people were there. Um, the food was okay. Sadly, no warm meals. That's my yeah. only complaint. And normally lounges do have a warm meal, if it's a good lounge, mm -hmm. like not even top tier lounge, just yeah. good. Not this one. They had wine though, which we didn't enjoy. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Tracy had to have one last start. So in the last video, we told you guys, see you guys in Kenya. Well, uh, something happened in Doha. So this time it's true. See you guys in Kenya. So, so yeah, see you guys in the next one.